and welcome back to my channel my name is glinda and on my channel i talk about beauty fashion and lifestyle and on today's video we are going to be turning well applying my u part wig into my v a v part wig so guys i would have went a little bit further into making the um unit into the v part Editing software, Lord, it updated and it just cut out a whole clip and I can't find it. So, um, I did cut off the ear tabs from ear to ear, so that was just straight across. And then I'm just cutting a V. How I got the size of the V was my two fingers. Um, I just measured my two fingers for the base, and then from there, I just go closer in, like a V, like a try a long, very long triangle, so you guys can see that, I don't go all the way back, because it's already long enough, the V part um, is already long, so if I go all the way back to that fabric, it'll be too long, so that's how the V part looked, that's how I cut it out, um, I could go into a little bit more, um, I can put the lace back if I want, because you guys know I'm a ventilator, but... I, I doubt that I'll be doing that. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair out. If you guys have been following me on TikTok, make sure you guys are following me on TikTok. You guys would have saw that I do have another V-part wig that is just made with tracks, no lace. But that one is a little shorter. So I decided to cut this frontal because the lace is just so thick. Um, I can make any lace lay. But this one was just too thick, so... I just decided to go ahead and cut it um, and do another V-part style, which I am totally enjoying. I'm going to be wearing a lot of V-parts um, for the summertime, so stay tuned for that. But I'm just going to go ahead and part out. For the V-part, I ended up going back and taking it off, um, which you guys will be able to see at the end of the video. And I braided this up. So I ended up braiding it up from from my hairline so i only will have the middle part that's out i hope that makes sense so instead of me having my edges out um i ended up braiding those up and well not edges but my hairline where i parted off it i ended up braiding that up and this is how my little braids turn out this is my mazani um oil for my scalp because you guys know i do have dandruff it's been doing really well since i've been using these products though i'm not going to lie that's why i recommend them so much so i'm just going to go ahead and base my scalp and then i'm just going to go ahead and grab the u-part wig i am going to of course rub that in and then this is how the v-part wig look it still has the extra um adjustable straps and everything which is fine it kind of helps it grip better on the back um you can't put combs and all of that in there as well how i did on my last one um that i did on tiktok but now i'm just gonna go ahead and fit it and it fits pretty good just double checking and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab some clips and clip it on the sides here just so it can hold it up so i can make sure i am sewing it very close so then now you guys can see i always say when that v part u part wig is sitting on those braids uh, it, it's just gonna it's gonna look so it's gonna look good it's just gonna look good so i'm braiding it but i'm just braiding it from ear around my middle part anchor braids and then down the other side of my ear i didn't sew this one on the back like i did the other one because i wasn't going to have this up for long and then i'm going to go ahead and take out my middle part here you guys know my hair is not thick my hair has been more on the thinner side since i was a kid is genetics but let me, i'm gonna show y'all how i fix that so it can look nicely blended so i'm just combing it over just so i can make sure um it looks right once it's combed down then i'm gonna go ahead and flat iron it um you guys know i take care i always suggest you take care of your hair your extensions like you do your real hair especially if you pray to pretty pretty what am i saying 
paid a pretty penny <laughs> for your extensions. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one pass. I did use some Moroccan oil um, on this. And I'm just flat ironing it. Take your time when you're flat ironing. It's not a rush. You guys can see right here that I braided that that um, by my hairline. I braided that down. You can see right here. Y'all, it took me forever to do this just because I need my hair to sit a certain way. And I needed to pull it to the front because I didn't sew this myself. The tracks are not laying how I exactly want them. And once I get started on my hair child, like I have to finish it. Especially if I have to go to sleep with it, it's not a wig and I can take off and adjust or fix. And I have to go to bed. <laughs> So I had to make sure everything was right and then I have to make me some little clipping things. So I'm going to show you guys that. And then I normally flat iron even my U part V part wigs on a dome head. It just works better. Okay, so once I'm done flat ironing, um, it looks good. It looks good, but I, I, I hate that big gap. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's not a clip in, but it's a I call it a comb in because I just sew combs and it just slides right in and it doesn't hurt. Cause sometimes the comb can hurt, especially when you first get or do the install. So these combs go right in, girl. I absolutely love this technique for the top of my hair because I normally have to go ahead and put a piece there. And look how good it looks. It looks so natural, lightweight. And then this is what you got to do, girl. You got to tuck it behind the ear to see how good it looks. If everything is laying good, if you want to go ahead and tuck it, put on a headband, put it in a ponytail. So I'm excited. I love this technique. I love this look. I love you and V parts. Tell me what you guys think below. And I'll see you guys later. It's on our dream, it's on.